That was delicious. Did you like it? Yeah, I really did. It was a bit really good. Yeah, one of your favorite. I don't have no interest. I ate it. You get nothing in the work. I ate it. I mean, mine were a little prettier. Just tilt it a little further down. Thank you very much. In front of the Fendi store. Maybe Jimmy Choo, so they'll send you shoes. Get them a little promo in the back. You can do that. <laughs> So, so, how does a little girl from South Africa make her way to Las Vegas? Um, not it's not easy. I, I was lucky enough to get a really good manager that saw the potential in me as a friend and as a person. And, and obviously over the years, I've managed to be able to make it here. This is now your second visit to Vegas. Third you were here visit London. to Vegas. This is my third time. Third, this third is sports my third time. Yeah. Third one? Yeah. Why are you on the cover? Because, okay. I don't know. That's how they Maybe chose next it. Year. Maybe next year. Could be, you never know. So you were in the Seychelles for this particular layout. Was that the first time you'd been to the Seychelles? No, I didn't go to the Seychelles for this one. Which one is I this? I went to Zambia. Zambia, Africa. Yeah. That's the one with the zebras. The zebras. Lions. I had lions in my... I was walking lions with my hands. You're fearless. I wasn't fearless then. <laughs> I feel fearless now talking about it, but at the time I was really, really nervous and very scared. Were you a tomboy when you were growing up in Cape Town? Uh, yes, definitely. I, I did um, girl guides and um, fire building and like sports and all kinds of things like that. I really wasn't expecting to become a model and then it just kind of happened, I guess. Did it just happen um, to become well, a model? You know, or when, you... I, when, I, when I was in high school, I kind of started thinking about it because obviously I was growing up. I wasn't as much of a tomboy and I lived in a really small town and uh, I decided I was going to start with pageants, but I'm not really very good at pageants, to be honest. So I decided modeling was more the route I wanted to go and it's really hard, you know, I wasn't living in Cape Town itself at the time and just to get out of that environment and actually get to a place where people can see you was really challenging. But you know, from there then, you know, you find people that mentor you and are interested in your life and you get to come to Vegas. You love this city? I do love this city. We love you in our city. <laughs> um, what, what's the, what's the, try and explain in your words what the thrill is, the joy of being in Sports Illustrated, being looked at by 70 million madmen? I think, you know, it's an iconic magazine, so it's kind of like the Grammys of modeling in a way. You know, it's like something that you aspire to do, and when you get there, it's like a triumph. You know, it's instead of getting a trophy or something, you get to have this amazing magazine and be part of a caliber of models that have been in it before. And it also becomes like a camaraderie thing. You get to know the girls and the team and everything. It's something that you enjoy, and it's family life. And where do you hope this takes you to? Acting, I, I don't motherhood, know. I'm... cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> you know, I love cooking, but I would like to cook uh, for for people. You know, not necessarily for little kids at the moment. I'm only I'm only 25. I'm still young. I've got a full career ahead of me still, and I'm just kind of waiting to see what kind of happens. You know, I think that's the way people's careers go. They just things land. So you're not taking acting people. classes or singing lessons or. 
No, not yet. Maybe I could. You never know. Well, I mean, t take a look at yourself in the mirror. You, <laughs> could, you can knock him dead. <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice of you to say. So if, if uh, we were out on a date and I said to you, uh, what South African wine would you recommend that we had with uh, lobster sushi? What, what would you pick from Stellenbosch? Okay, well I'm a huge red wine fan and my favorite wine in the whole wide world is actually from Riston Fiera and that is um, a red wine Syrah and it's actually the same winemaker that used to make Ernie Elsa's wines and it's absolutely incredible. And I, the and Golfer. I, so yeah, the, the Golfer. Golfer. And they have opposite, they have wine farms in the same kind of little valley in Stellenbosch opposite each other. And that Syrah is maybe not right to go with fish, but sometimes I feel like if it's a really good wine, it doesn't really matter what you're eating it with. Final question. Last year in advance, I actually picked you to be the cover girl last year. Ooh. I did. I got it right this year with Kate. But if they announced on the Letterman show this time next year, that Miss Morton from South Africa was a cover girl. What would your reaction be? Do your knees buckle? Uh, do, do Probably you break I would out cry. Of... I'm, I'm a bit of a crier, to be honest. If I'm happy, I cry. If I'm sad, I cry. If I'm angry, I cry. I just can't stop myself. No matter where I am, I just, you know, the tears start coming. So most likely that is what would happen. I just probably would be so shocked. Think two parts of your body. The, the part that you absolutely love about yourself and the bit that you would love to have changed if it could be. Um, I would like to have a size smaller feet. Yeah, I just have really big feet. <laughs> That's the it's thing I would like. But I love the way they are. I just would like one size smaller. And uh, and I really like my my boobs, which is a natural gift from my mom. And you know, I, I just like them. I like looking at them. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much.